Today we're having a little spring reset. The days are finally getting longer and the sun is shining more so it's officially becoming spring soon and I could not be more excited honestly. I just came back from a trip and I just need a couple of days to get myself together again and get back into my routine so I just thought what would be a better time to do a spring reset than now. We're just gonna have a few productive days together and I'm gonna take you along so let's start resetting for the new season. grocery shopping and I got some flowers because spring just calls for flowers. Tulips are like my favorites so these are very cute but besides all of the groceries we had to get because we basically had no food left at home at all we went to get these two black crates for like organization because I really want to try and organize the bathroom drawer and we got black because that was the only color that there was in this size but I also got this really small like kind of pink orange crate which I don't know what I'm gonna put in but this was only 75 cents so I thought that was very cute but the reason we went to that store is to get these two mugs that I found on TikTok and they are so cute especially this yellow color this color I feel like is like the spring color of this year so I just had to get this so now I'm gonna go unload the groceries and put my tulips in a vase and just continue the day at home Tuesday and I've been having a little bit of trouble getting back into a routine the past few days. I feel like it's because my life is pretty much just a big mess right now. So I went to Stockholm, had a really good time and then came back and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? So, so far that has not been going very well. Like I've had a little bit of trouble with it, but today we're gonna make some steps into the right direction. I already went for a walk this morning and now I have a couple of small quick things to do on my laptop right now. And then I need to head to a few stores to run some errands because it's actually Job's birthday today so I want to get a few decorations for the house for his birthday so that when he comes back from work today I have the house decorated a little bit and then I really want to make a coffee in my new mug that I showed you in this video before because I'm actually obsessed with the yellow mug so I really want to make a coffee today and then I have a lot of things to do but most of the things are also just kind of just a few small things that I have to do but like I have to do them so I just want to get those out of the way first and then start editing my Stockholm vlogs which I'm honestly so excited for because I'm really excited about the fact that I did decide to get the other camera before I went because I feel like it just gives such a value to the footage that I took there like in like the coffee places and everything it just looks so nice I'm just really excited for those videos like by the time you see this those videos will already be up so go watch them if you haven't already I'm hopefully really proud of them so I just need to start on my to-dos now so I can go run the errands and then make my coffee <laughs> All right, 
right, so I just got back and I decorated the house a little bit as you can see. And now I'm gonna make him a little gift basket, which is literally just me putting my gifts in this basket in a cute way. So basically I got him a couple of things, a water bottle that he really wanted and honestly, it's really pretty. A very cute candle that I couldn't just not buy. And then I got two clothing items, which I don't know what he's gonna think of because the first one is this t-shirt, which is obviously pink. He would never really buy this color, so I figured I would order it because I really do like this color and I hope it's gonna suit him. So now he can actually try a color like this and see if it does suit him because I feel like it would. And then I got this jacket because he's been wanting to get a new jacket and I honestly really like the look of this. I personally do really like these items, so I really hope he likes them too, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I'm just quickly gonna assemble this and make it look cute and then make a coffee and really start doing the things that I like actually have to do today. It's kind of really important for me for getting back into routine and everything is eating healthy. I never know what to make for lunch. Like I really started hating lunch because I just don't know what to make. So I've been kind of setting myself a goal to start making more recipes and trying new recipes. So today we're gonna meal prep this recipe and honestly, don't know if I'm gonna like this. Basically, it's a salad with quinoa, zucchini, tuna, and then there's a few other ingredients like these beans. I've never had these in my life. Eating healthy is just so important for me to like be in a routine and like actually feeling good. But lunch is so hard. So also if you have like lunch recommendations, like things that you make for lunch, please let me know because I just never know what to make for lunch. So we're gonna try this recipe and see if it's any good. <music> Exercise can be a really good way to get into routine and have like an established routine At least for me if I have like a stable running routine and like schedule going on I do feel better about my routines because I kind of know what I'm up to and like when I'm doing things and I don't know It just really helps having a routine with exercise also with walking really helps like it doesn't necessarily have to be like running or an actual sport walking can also be the form of exercise for your routines but for me i like running for this but i've had to kind of lay back on the running lately because when i would go for a run especially the little bit longer runs and a few weeks ago i would run like 20 kilometers in a week which obviously might not be a lot for most people, but I think for me it was quite a lot. Well, I didn't think it was a lot, but my knees would hurt a lot while I was running and like after I ran. So now I've kind of not really been running the past few weeks. So I'm just gonna do a 5K now and see if I will feel my knees after that. Hopefully not. But if so, I'm probably gonna have to make an appointment for that to check out what's going on with my knee. But I'm just kind of hoping that if I just don't run as much for a while and then just slowly get back into it like i have to not run like a 10k next week but i'm really hoping if i just start with like a few small runs that my knee will kind of get used to it and then not hurt as much but we'll have to see about that so i'm just gonna put on my running shoes and head out for my run mm -hmm. 